everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Josie, and today we are going to be doing a very special unboxing from Louis Vuitton! Now, I have been waiting for this bag since January, and it feels like forever. I know it's only been like, what, three months? But I saw the campaign for the Spring Summer 2021 collection, and Naomi Osaka looked so pretty, and she had this really pretty, like, crossbody bag, and I was like, what is that? I have to have it. And so I've been waiting and waiting and I've been seeing that utility crossbody on the website, but it's like, um, not available, not available, not available. And so this morning I got a call from my CA and she's like, Josie, it is here. I need you to come over here and pick it up. And I was like, I'm on my way. So it's actually two hours from where I live and I could have had it like, I could have had it mailed to me, but I just didn't care because <laughs> I wanted it now. So I actually have her here with me. I didn't really get a chance at the store to kind of like look her over because there was a surprise detail in there. If you haven't seen too many pictures about it, that I'm going to show you that is my favorite part of the bag and let's get to it. So I'm going to go ahead and take her out of this thing right now. Ta-da! It is upside down. <laughs> and let's fix that. Look. Nice and cute with the blue bow. And oh, that was really nice to actually pull that apart. Sometimes they're like so hard to take off. And I don't know if you guys can tell by the size, it's going to be a little bit small. All right. And here she is. And her cute little dust bag. And voila! It is the utility crossbody bag. Now, first impression, I love the detailing. I like the way it looked. But for some reason, like every time I've been looking at it online, she looks so much more bigger. <laughs> like I, um, when I pulled her out of the bag, I was kind of like, oh, okay. She's very cute and petite. So I don't know what I was expecting because I saw a couple of pictures of, of this bag at the runway show and it was like the monogram print and same with the the Naomi Osaka picture too. So maybe just because it's black, I'm not sure, but I was actually surprised how small she is, but I do really love the detailing. Like if you guys can see, there is the really cute, um, like on on this side. And then there's just like the gold studs and it's just really pretty, right? And it's made out of calf skin, which is really nice. Got the calf skin leather going on here and just really simple, and I just really like the way that I can just kind of carry her like this. It's definitely different. You guys can hear all of the <laughs> zippers and stuff, but I am like just kind of taken aback when I saw her, just how small she was. I love to carry totes. You guys know that. I always carry a bunch of stuff in there. So when I saw it, I was kind of worried about how much I could fit. So I definitely want to walk you through that, and we can kind of figure it out together if this bag is the right bag for me and if it's the right bag for you. Because like I said, I've been trending about, you know, or I've been not trending, I've been using a lot of crossbody bags recently because of, you know, sanitizing and everything, but I'm not sure if this size will work for me. So we'll find out together. Now, um, there is in here um, a front pocket, like there's this really cute pocket in here in the front. I'm not exactly sure what you can fit in here, maybe coins. Um, and then like this one pocket right here, and it's the same size as this one here. I'm kind of hoping that you can put cards. Actually, let me check and see. Um, I don't know how many of you guys have big wallets, but I'm just gonna show you guys like comparison with the size, like obviously, this wallet would not fit in this bag. So if you're gonna get this, you're gonna need to get a smaller wallet. So that's first thing, right? So let's go ahead and see. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my handy dandy Costco card and let's see if she can fit in there. Okay, it's a really tight fit and I actually don't know if, oh, okay. Well, that's kind of a good sign. It does fit. Um, I'm just not sure how much of that you can fit, but. You guys can see cards do fit in here. So that's kind of a nice thing. Um, I was also thinking with these front pockets of maybe using keys or like a key fob because I do have that. Let me grab that for you and you guys can see what you think. Okay, so here is my key fob. Um, I love the 
aspect of the fact that it could be here in the front. So perfect, key fob fits in here. And then let me just go ahead and take out, or pretend to take out my keys, but I'm pretty sure that the key that the keys will fit in here too. So that's the nice thing about these front pockets is that obviously you can put key fobs or key rings or you know your keys in here and then cards on this side. So um, the only thing I kind of worry about too is with the on prong leather here, if you use it a lot with the pockets like zipping and closing, I wonder if it's gonna leave kind of like a mark on here. So I really do love like the little detailing right there on the gold colored hardware and just the way it sits on here. It's really cute. And um, let's take a look. So the best feature about this bag that I love and I just, when I saw it, I just fell in love. Like I didn't even care about how big, small or whatever it was. I, you guys will <laughs> understand. Look at, I'm just gonna remove the straps. But have you ever seen anything so beautiful? I mean, it's gorgeous. It is so pretty in here. I mean, this is just, I have never seen this type of detail inside. And you guys, it's soft. Like, it's, it's like, I don't know, how, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's like a, like a regular fabric mater material. And there is on this side, it says um, Louis Vuitton. Paris made in France. Um, yep, this is made in France if you guys can see that. But it's just, she's so pretty and I just love, I have never seen a bag with this type of detail inside. And when she opened it up for me, I was like, okay, wrap her up. I'll just take a look at her later. But I just, I really love this. Now the only thing is, like I said, the size, right? So let's take um, my, Okay, so Adele wallet, right? Full size, not gonna fit. So for you folks out there that carry full size wallets like I do, for the most part, you're not gonna be able to fit that in here at all. So um, if you have, like let's just go with this, like a small card case, she will fit in there. And there's actually this really cute pocket in the back where you can put, you can use the phone. And if I had a phone, I, Here's the phone, like a regular iPhone XS, like, yep, ta-da, totally fits. And I like how it's got its own pocket in the back. So it's kind of like not with everything else. And that's really nice. And what else? Um, you can probably fit, okay, I always carry my sunglasses in a sunglass case because I always worry about it getting scratched. Um, I don't even, oh, see, okay, so sunglass case, not gonna fit in here. Um, you could, if you take out your wallet, but I mean, do you want to just walk around with your sunglass case and your phone in here and then maybe put your cards in the front? It's really up to you, but it will close. Um, it is gonna be tight as you guys can see. So it's pretty packed already. And the only thing inside in here was the cell phone and the sunglasses. So um, you could, like I said, put your cards in the front pocket, but that's just, I don't know. For me, that carries a ton of stuff. It's kind of like not really um, practical, I guess. So that was my sunglasses in here and a phone. Um, what else trying to think? Oh, um, let's see. If you carry battery packs too, that's something I always do because my phone always dies. So a battery pack should fit in here, and it does. That's what it looks like inside there. And then also, um, like a card case again. But there are two slots inside here that you can put your cards in. And like I said, it does fit in the front, so you can use it for that for that purpose. And that's pretty much it. Like right now in here, I just have a battery pack and a small, you know, wallet. If you wanted to put two wallets in here, you probably could do that. And it's just really small, guys. So I'm gonna compare this. I'm gonna show you guys actually before I do that, let me just show you really quickly what it looks like next to a pochette Matisse. That way you guys can see the size difference because it's pretty significant. So I know a lot of you guys out there have that type of bag. I'm just gonna put it side by side so you guys can see kind of how much more smaller she is. And a huge shout out to my friend Sheila who actually had one available for me. I wanted to grab a bag that a lot of people already have 
and that you guys have seen. So that way you guys are, you know, can see what she looks like. But you guys are already familiar. So push up Matisse. She did a, she, it looks so good still. She's had it for a while now, but it looks really good. But so here's this and here's this. So if you guys can see side by side, like here is like the front to, you know, the front of that one. So here's a utility crossbody and here's a push up Matisse. If you guys look at the size, it's a pretty big difference. So here's a side view on that and then a bottom view as well. Such a big difference between this and this. And they're both crossbodies and you guys know that. So I just think if you're going for something that you need to put a full size wallet, like, you know, obviously full size wallet, you guys will know will fit in here, right? And it won't fit in here. So you're going to have to get a smaller wallet. So if you don't already have one, that's kind of another investment that you need to make in, in order to buy this. So keep that in mind. Here she is. Now, the one thing that I really do like about this strap, though, is that it comes with this super cute little container and it's so tiny. I think that the only thing you're going to be able to fit in here is I don't even think cards will fit, but she's so cute. It says Louis Vuitton made in France. So nice. But I think the only thing I could fit in here are AirPods. So um, that might fit actually. And it does. Oh, ta-da! Lip balm. So if you have a circular lip balm that will fit in here, you guys saw snaps in so that's kind of cute and like handy to have but look, here's the airpods and here's the container that it comes in and all you do is snap it in perfect for airpods i really think actually this container was made for that so when you're out and about you have access to it you just pop it open and you can grab your airpods or cash you know but i that think that's pretty much all you're gonna be able to fit because it is pretty small if you guys see once i put it in there it's pretty much done and you can't really fit anything else so let me show you guys how it hooks now it does come with these really easy hooks that you just you know put here on top right there's a hook on this side here and a hook on this side over here oops all right let's see here just hook it on and that's it one important thing too that i always carry with me that i need all the time is like a hand sanitizer but like my hand sanitizer is pretty big, pretty big so i don't even know i know she's not going to fit in here obviously in the front but she should fit inside um i have my two small wallets here and then my sanitizer she does so that's perfect it's like a small pure sanitizer so i can still close her up so that's a good thing about her but um yeah so it looks like this she's really cute you can probably put her in the front um, you could probably play with her and use different straps on her, like different colored straps. I, I would definitely do that. But I really like the way it looks. I'm just not sure if I'm completely happy with the size. Just because I do carry a lot more than normal. And I feel like I have the Chanel small vanity case. And I feel like I can maybe put almost a, like the same amount of things in there than here. And I'm just a little bit disappointed. I kind of wish it was bigger because it looks bigger in the pictures, but for what it is, and if you're looking for a great crossbody bag for like summer, you know, just kind of a year year round bag, it does come in this um, leather material and the other style also comes in the monogram. So whichever color you prefer, the only thing is the other bag has a cream strap. So I'm not sure how good you are taking care of things, but I'm not. So that's why I went with this color. And I just really like the way um, it's different. It kind of looks like a camera bag for, you know, compared to like a lot of the other things like the YSL camera bag. I feel like it's kind of almost the same size as that, but yeah, I mean, it's, she's definitely gorgeous. There's no doubt about that. And it's kind of cute, especially if you have AirPods that you can just put in here and just take it on the go. So yeah, um, I was going to give you guys another reference just in case you didn't really understand how small she is next to the Pochette Matisse, but I also have here... Um, the Sarah that I just bought in the other video you guys saw, I'm going to compare it. That way you guys can really see her size. So this is what the Sarah wallet looks like. Like if you guys remember, I did a video on this along with the Bottega. 
So this is what she looks like. Let me show you the back of her. That's pretty much her size. So it's like a large wallet. So that should kind of give you an idea of how, you know, small she is. But there's no way like the Sarah wallet will fit in here. So just remember, if you get this bag, you're going to have to invest in a small wallet unless you already have one. Um, or just keep your cards here in the front and let me like your cash on this side and not carry a wallet. Like I'm a wallet type person. I always have to have wallets. So um, I would, you know, be able to use this, but I'm not sure if it would be like a daily thing for me. So I hope that you guys like this video. Um, I also have the giveaway going on right now. It's going to happen until the end of next week. So make sure that you guys check out my Empreinte video and my marshmallow video and in order for you to be entered into the giveaway you have to make sure you um, hit like and then also subscribe and then comment down below on those two which bag you prefer and if you tag three friends on Instagram um, you can also get another entry to win so good luck on that it's a really cute bandeau scarf that is actually on the picture on the Neverfull on there and then that's going to be the giveaway I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do next month but yeah so that is my review on the utility crossbody and just comment down below and let me know what you guys think if it's you know if it exceeded your expectations if it was what you thought it was going to be because i was like really really excited and i just didn't realize that she was going to be that small so i'm not sure like if this could be like a daily bag for me but you can also dress her up if you had a gold chain on here i think that would definitely make her like really classy and perfect for like somewhere more formal or like going out to you know dinner or, you know, somewhere nice like that, right? Because especially with um, a gold chain. So you might want to go ahead and check that out too. So make sure you go to the Louis Vuitton store if you're thinking about it. And definitely try it on for yourself and see if it's a good fit for you. Because she is really pretty, don't get me wrong. I just don't know if she's like the perfect fit for me. So thank you guys for watching. Have a good night. Day. Morning. <laughs> One of those. Have a great day. Yes. Mm -hmm.